onde, de onde em Brasil? Ah. Alright, you're on the grounds of the World East New York City World War East Coast World War II Memorial. Dedicated 60 years ago back in May by JFK, standing right where you're standing. It commemorates all the service members lost in the Atlantic during World War II. Uh, the eight pylons of granite to your rear on the left and right are listed with all the service members who were lost at sea. If you took the time to look through it, any name that has a rosette, a little flourish next to it, their remains have been recovered and uh, you know laid to rest in a proper burial site someplace else. And it doesn't have a rosette, it was lost at sea. If you want to know more about this awesome memorial, come back and visit me on D-Day. I've got a great D-Day event launching from here in June. I'll be getting launched on Damod here shortly. <laughs> All right. We need to beat feet this direction to find. Oh yeah, this is an actually an American Battlefield Memorial Commission month. by the New York City Korean War Memorial, Korean War Veterans Memorial Committee. 15 foot black granite statue with the universal soldier, the silhouette of a Korean War soldier. The absence of the soldier being there is to signify loss and death and be a metaphor for uh, you know eternal mourning. It's all so you can see through if you're tall enough to see Ellis Island, the Statue of Liberty. Around the base, you have the 22 flags of the 22 uh, countries that helped with the United, States, United Nations action in the Korean conflict. As you most you know, probably know, it's often referred to as the Forgotten War. It's very unfortunate. And that's all I got for this. I read a rumor merchant marines can be pressed into service during wartime as an auxiliary to the US Navy. I felt it fitting. During World War II, one in 26 merchant mariners were lost. That's a higher percentage per capita than any of the armed service components during World War II. One of 26 merchant mariners were lost at sea. And believe it or not, the merchant marines predate even the army with their first action taking place two days before the army was formed. June 12th, 1775, after the Battle of Lexington and Concord, some uh, merchant marines, really privateers, under letters of marquee, found out about the Battle of Lexington and Concord up in uh, Machez, Maine.
tribute to our horse soldiers, Zodiac 595, 555, National Invasion into Afghanistan. The sculptor, not a veteran, but a military enthusiast and a lover of horses, saw this picture in the media, as I'm sure most people did in the uh, weeks following 9 11, and became enamored with uh, the picture. It's the uh, one and a half size scale of your uh, U.S. Army Special Forces soldier kitted out in all sorts of uh, models. Oh, oh. Captain Norwich, Bill Ruck, taking part in the New York City Veterans Day Parade, oldest and largest Veterans Day Parade in the country. It started in 1919. We're marching with the United War Veterans Council Health and Wellness Float back there. We've got about 40 Bill Ruckers. We've done the Honor Ruck already, four and a half miles. We hit the Coast Guard Memorial, World War II East Coast Memorial, Korean War Memorial, Russian Marine Memorial, Horse Soldiers, and Ground Zero.